Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm Ivan. And, and together, together we, we are the Disney, Disney Couple. couple. Celebrate Father's Day with these great Disney gift ideas. Dads are always there when you need them, so what do you get for the Disney dad that seems to have everything? You can start with the best Disney dad ornament, sure to show dad how awesome he is. Now, if your Disney dad is the tie wearing variety, then you can also get him the Millennium Falcon tie to chase away the dark side, or even the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man tie. But if you really want to turn heads, and how about the Mandalorian gift tie set with an adult Mando tie and a child size Grogu tie. Perfect for the Star Wars father and son picture. Now for the grilling dads out there, there are several options. One incredible apron featuring none other than Mr. Incredible just to show how incredible dad really is. And then the Death Star serving board for all those grilling masterpieces. And to keep that backyard beauty nice and shiny, how about the Grill I Will Grill Scraper and Bottle Opener? Sure to be a great conversation piece. Now to get those juices flowing for all those brilliant dad ideas, how about some coffee accessories? First start off with a Star Wars Dual Brew Coffee Maker and Travel Mug. Decorate it then none other than Red and Black Empire Decor, just to show those pesky rebels who's really in charge. And for the lighter side, how about a Goofy Coffee Mug proclaiming Dad jokes serve fresh daily, just like this one. Some giraffes can grow up to 18 feet, but most only have four. Sorry folks, typical dad joke, moving on. Now for those long camping trips and summer hikes, what better way to keep things cool than the Corksicle stainless steel canteens that can keep your favorite drinks cool for up to 25 hours and up to three hours for warm beverages. Colors and styles are inspired by Marvel, including Black Panther, Spider-Man, Iron Man, and more. Finally, to wrap up this glimpse of Father's Day ideas, how about some amazing Star Wars collectibles? Starting with the Boba Fett Tython and the Fennec Shan collectible from the Book of Boba Fett, available now in the premium Star Wars The Black series. Just check out the details of both of these collectibles. And finishing up with the Mandalorian Dark Saber Force FX Elite Lightsaber, also part of the Star Wars Black series. Again, this is just a sample of some great gift ideas. Whether your dad is battling the backyard steak or protecting the galaxy, Shop Disney and Hasbro Pulse, both have you covered. Something big is coming across the Atlantic, and no, it's not the next hurricane. This is none other than the newest member of the Disney Cruise Line fleet, the Disney Wish. The Disney Wish is scheduled to dock in Florida on June 20th prior to her July 14th maiden voyage. But before she leaves, the Disney Signature Experience, DSE, team got a sneak peek of what's to come during a special cast member showcase. This was a night like no other, as more than 1,300 DSE cast members came together to experience what makes the Disney Wish a step above anything the cruise industry has to offer, including exclusive food and beverages that will be served on the Disney Wish, also new crew costumes, and Broadway-style entertainment. Not to mention, this is the first time in more than two years the DSE cast members have been able to come together in person. In true Disney style, Captain Minnie and Mickey were on hand to welcome the cast members, as they were announced by none other than the Walt Disney World ambassadors, and presented with a very special Disney Wish magic wand. And if that wasn't enough, the Disney Cruise Line ship horn echoed all throughout the Epcot World Showplace to really kickstart the evening. Thomas Maslam, President, DSE, opened the evening by sharing, This is a big, big moment, and one we've been waiting to celebrate. You truly make us very, very proud. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you do. Then the fairy godmother led the audience in bippity boppity boo to officially and magically open the preview stations and special photo opportunities 
for the DSC to experience and enjoy. For many, this celebration was a long-awaited family reunion, more than two years in the making, including those brand new cast members taking part in their very first official Disney experience. What a special night it must have been to celebrate such a grand achievement for the Walt Disney World Company celebrating the magic and majesty of the crown jewel, the Disney Cruise Line fleet, the Disney Wish. After a fun-filled Disney day battling the Empire and dropping and rocking out on Sunset Boulevard, it's time to fill those empty stomachs with some delicious new and returning favorites at Hollywood Studios. Our first stop is going to be the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater restaurant, where aliens attack from other worlds and space travel is an everyday occurrence. Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater is a great place to get the usual burger, fry, and who can forget about those amazing milkshakes. The setting is that of a drive-in theater back in the day where all the cars are actually your tables and you get some old sci-fi movie clips while you enjoy some out-of-this-world menu items. Appearing this month will be the spinach and artichoke dip, a plant-based blend of spinach, artichoke, red peppers, cauliflower, cashew cheese, and oat milk served with house-made chips. That does sound delicious. As mentioned before, this is a great place to get burgers. And in this month's spotlight, there is the feature film Burger Surf and Turf, signature blend of beef, house-made seasoning served on a brioche bun, and topped with a shrimp and crab cake pepper jack cheese, chipotle hollandaise sauce, grilled onions, heirloom tomato, arugula, and house-made vinaigrette. Quite the list of ingredients here. Make sure you get extra napkins, as I'm sure this one's going to be a little messy and tasty at the same time. Next up is an old favorite that has been awarded a permanent spot on the menu, featuring the Pork on Pork Burger, grilled house-made pork patty topped with roasted pork belly, white sharp cheddar cheese, caramelized onions, cabbage slaw, and a house-made Carolina mustard sauce. Wow, that does sound fantastic. Now, if you have any room left after eating all that, these next two desserts are simply out of this world. The Red Planet is a delicious white chocolate cheesecake with a blueberry compote on a graham cracker tart with a matcha sponge and gold candy pecans. You have to love the art of this. The dome looks just like the top of Mars. Looks as good as it tastes, I'm sure. Rounding out our last dessert is the out of this world sci-fi swirl. Pineapple mousse with passion fruit cosmic swirl and a spiced lime spaceship garnished with space dust and blood orange coolius. Another work of art, almost too good to eat. Now moving on to the 50s prime time cafe. This place has elbows off the tables and comfort food as far as the eye can see. Lots of retro looks all around and clips of favorite TV shows when everything was in stunning black and white. First up is a dish that is sure to fill you up. Grandpa Jean's Chicken Pot Pie, which has made its triumphant return. Featuring a traditional pastry crust filled with chicken, potatoes, carrots, celery, onions, corn, and peas. Up next we have three desserts. Lemon Meringue Pie, a lemon curd and a flaky pie shell topped with toasted meringue and garnished with a raspberry sauce. Sounds very tasty. Continuing on is the Grasshopper Bar, a mint white chocolate mousse with chocolate chips on a chocolate chip cookie and topped with whipped cream and chocolate chips. Wow, between the mint and the chocolate, this is a chocoholic's dream come true. Finally, there is a stained glass dessert. Whipped pineapple fluff decorated with cubes of strawberry, lime, and orange gelatin to look like stained glass. Perfect for kids of any age, including you dads out there wearing those mouse ears and goofy t-shirt. We know who you are. Next up, we're going to a place where everything happened a long time ago and a galaxy far, far away. Well, not that far away at least. It's in walking distance. Welcome to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on the planet of Batu. And here we're tracking down none other than Cat Sokka's Kettle, where you can get the infamous Outpost Mix, a sweet, savory snack made with popcorn, and also two new tasty beverages. The Cold Brew Black Calf features Joffrey's Cold Brew, 
sweet cream cheese, and cocoa puffs as a delicious non-alcoholic treat. But for the adult version, try this in the spiked variety with Godiva liqueur, guaranteed to bring the Wookiee out in you. <laughs> Our last stop on this abbreviated tour takes us all the way down Sunset Boulevard to Hollywood Scoops, where you're surrounded by some great attractions as well. The Beauty and the Beast live on stage, Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster, and the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, and hopefully, opening soon, Fantasmic. All great things to do, and don't forget to get those photo pass shots with the magic as well while you sit and people watch on the benches enjoying your ice cream. Speaking of, getting back to Hollywood Scoops, great ice cream place. Usually not a big line, and fresh on the menu this month is a Key Lime Milkshake. Key Lime Vanilla Cream Shake topped with a Lemon Lime Donut, garnished with a sweet graham cracker crumb. That should definitely cool you down in the Florida heat. Again, this is just a sample of what Hollywood Studios has new this month. A link to the full article and all the menu items will be in our description section down below. Now it's time to look at something that has the potential to really be magical. Pinocchio, the live action movie coming to Disney Plus on September 8th. This classic timeless tale follows the story of an Italian toy maker, Geppetto, who carves a puppet and names him Pinocchio. That night, Geppetto wishes for Pinocchio to become a real boy. The next morning, the adventure really begins. Based on the 1940 animated classic, and that was based on the 1883 Italian book, The Adventures of Pinocchio. This animated classic was groundbreaking in many areas, visuals, sound, storytelling, and more. Although a box office bomb when released, mainly due to the ongoing war in Europe, subsequent releases in theaters and home video have since erased that deficit and placed this classic where it belongs in history. Pinocchio is only one of six other Disney films to have won two Academy Awards. One for Best Original Score and Best Original Song. The infamous When You Wish Upon a Star. So will this live-action film live up to the original? We will find out soon enough. Robert Zemeckis, Tom Hanks, and Ellen Silvestri round out this creative trio with a supporting cast that should definitely deliver a solid performance. Pinocchio again premieres on Disney Plus on September 8th. And remember, the original is on Disney Plus now. What better time than now to curl up on the couch and get lost in the adventure we all seek, the adventures of life itself. Thanks for watching today's episode. And remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell for future episode notifications. Have, Have a, a magical, magical day. day.